So this next module is all about one of the new options in SharePoint 2013 for creating forms, and that is using Access 2013. So we're going to dive into this in a fair amount of depth. What I would ask is, um, I think how to phrase this politely. What I what I would what I would ask is that you keep an open mind uh, as I go through this. I know a lot of folks have had, um, especially those of you who have uh, worked in corporate IT, uh, may have had mixed experiences with access in the past, or or uh, have preconceived conceptions about info or about access. And uh, what I would ask you to do is just at least for for the next part of this course, just maybe leave those at the door, if you will. Um, I was with you in terms of being a little skeptical when I first heard about what we were doing here. <clears throat> but I've actually grown quite fond of the Access 2013 capabilities in, in SharePoint 2013. And depending on your form scenario, it is absolutely uh, possibly a viable option for, for creating uh, SharePoint forms. So I'll try in this section to not only help you understand what you can do for Enterprise Forms with Access 2013, but I'll also try and um, where I can point out the strengths and weaknesses uh, from a very practical standpoint. I mean, even though I am a Microsoft employee, I'm you know this this course is not a Microsoft sponsored course, and so I'll, I'll be very blunt with you on the trade-offs and the decisions that have to be made here, and also. Um, I'll point out where access may be better or may not be better than something like InfoPath. All right, so with that, Access 2013. So it allows you to quickly create um, apps uh, that can be run inside of SharePoint. That's the short version of the story. Uh, Access 2013 has hooks into SharePoint that we haven't had before. Uh, because of the new cloud app model. And <clears throat> I will mention this at least a couple of times, but I'll, I'll, I'll say it once now. And that is, this is one of the distinguishing characteristics between access uh, for building forms versus InfoPath. InfoPath still uses the sort of uh, legacy, if you will, um, model of doing forms in SharePoint. And that is to say that it, it does not use the cloud app model. It publishes the forms to a list. Um, it uses um, uh, well-known technologies like XML. And in many cases, that's still fine. But, but there are also a number of really great advantages of moving, to, moving forms to the new cloud app model. And Access is the, you know, as it stands today, Access is the primary no-code tool for uh, quickly building um, forms on SharePoint 2013 using the app model that, that again, do not require code. So if, you, if you've done InfoPath work in the past, it's not a big leap to start doing some similar forms in Access. But as I mentioned, there are absolutely uh, trade-offs, and you'll have to look at those on a case-by-case -case basis. So you can quickly create app templates. Um, you can bring in existing desk, desktop databases, which is one of the cool things, is you, if you have existing access content, you can reuse that, uh, but in a new and much better way. Uh, you can create an app experience without, without requiring um, knowing how to do code. Uh, and these apps are delivered in SharePoint via the browser. Now, you can do access apps either on-premise or in cloud. I won't, again, I'm not making a distinction here for the sake of this discussion. Uh, it works in, in either case. I will say if you are not a SharePoint administrator, it certainly is easier and quicker to test and learn and experiment with access apps in a cloud version of, of SharePoint than on-prem because there is absolutely some extra configuration work required to do access forms on-prem that unless you are a farm administrator, you likely will not be able to do. So again, for the demonstrations in this session, I will again be using the same um, 
SharePoint Online tenant that I used uh, for InfoPath. Um, so <clears throat> just uh, hopefully that um, that will resonate for you, and you can and you can get access to a, an instance of SharePoint Online. Okay, so we did invest heavily in Access 2013 to uh, support this new cloud app model. Um, sometimes, you know, uh, frankly, that surprises people because uh, uh, a lot of folks uh, with the historic view of Access would have rather just seen it go away, but it's not going away, and I can tell you that uh, we are going to continue to invest in Access as a very viable option for creating applications. Uh, in SharePoint and 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 therefore forms as well. Uh, access can be used for a lot more than just forms, obviously, but but uh, it does forms quite quite well. It is um, uh, one of our certainly one of our recommended tools now for creating end-to-end -end declarative or, in other words, no-code form solutions. Um, it does allow people like subject matter experts and business analysts who may not really be developers to, to capitalize on their experience and their knowledge of the way a form should work uh, without having to resort to, to code. So that is sort of the, the, nit, the niche that uh, Access fits into, um, not, not uh, too much different than InfoPath in that regard. 